hey if you have not watched part one yet make sure to watch that video and if you have watched that video already just keep watching this video all right so i guess you can say this is the part two anyway i'm going to downgrade back to ventura so there's a couple of reasons why i want to downgrade back to ventura so one of the reason is if you have no idea check out the previous video and the other reason is this is my main machine and uh, yeah i don't think it's a good idea to leave it on, on my daily driver so i'm going back to ventura and also this is like the early stage of sonoma so it's gonna be buggy so i'm going to turn this thing off and what am i gonna do is boot to internet recovery which option command r oh by the way this is not a tutorial this is like i guess you can say it's a vlog of me messing around with this macbook there we go this showed up. I have Ethernet plugin and for some reason it doesn't want to connect. So I guess this is Wi-Fi only thing. So I might as well just connect to my Wi-Fi. There we go, it's connected. And the progress bar should show up and starting internet recovery. This may take a while. So all I do is this utility continue. It's kind of slow, but whatever. Um, storage D, which full of my stuff, and the switch. Gonna hit the race. Hmm. If I click this, okay. That, I, I guess that's good. So APFS the race. All right, it's done. So we're just gonna see. All right, that's good. So let's reinstall macOS Ventura. Continue, continue. Building installation information, huh? I don't think this actually connects to the internet, but what if I turn off Wi-Fi? Oh wait, it does. That's cool. So I guess you have to turn off Wi-Fi, then internet will start working after it finished booting up. So agree, agree. There we go. Here's what I want. So. Yeah, about 2 hours and 14 minutes remaining. Mm. This would take a while. Okay, just shut off and I don't know what it does. So. Also, it's not recording, so I might as well record it. And yeah, the progress bar is showing. I think it's doing its thing. Probably. Alright, so this MacBook is finally done. Once again, if you're not a developer or whatever and you want to try beta, just wait for the actual release instead of trying out beta. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and thanks for watching and bye.